Hi guys, um, welcome back. This is part two of a video about the Twitter Traco demo app that um, comes that you can get in click view. Um, in the last video, I kind of showed you how this whole thing works and how you can derive very fast insight out of this and find out a lot of interesting things about it. Um, so this part is really about how you go about setting it all up. How do you actually get the search terms that you're interested in here? How do you actually select the accounts that you want to follow in here? And I'll talk you through the whole process start to finish in this video. So I just highlight the um, Twitter accounts that I want to follow and I'll show you how you actually load these guys into here. So where to begin? The first thing you need to do is you need to know that this app is actually taking a live feed from your Twitter account. So the way in which you feed your Twitter account into here is through a partner application called QV Source. This is QV Source here. Just close this window. So QV Source um, is actually the partner for Twitter that pulls in feeds from a whole host of different different um, web uh, cloud-based services. So you can feed in your Google Analytics into here. You can there's Google Analytics. You can feed your Google AdWords, AdSense. You can feed in your DFP data into here as well. If you've got ad serving, ad serving data you want to feed in, you can feed in a lot of things. LinkedIn is here, Clout is here. One I want to talk to you about is your Twitter connector. So, what you do is you would open up your Twitter connector, just double click on it and then it will ask you to authenticate. I'm not going to push this button because I've already authenticated. Um, when you push the button a second window is going to pop up and ask you just to authorize this app to work with your Twitter data and you, you hit authorize and you then get this token that gets fed into here. From there you can pull in any data. So here I've selected the hashtag big data hashtag big data and that when you hit that run table it will pull this in and that's the data all about that's all the in tweets about the term big data you can see but it's just pulled in from Twitter and there's, there's a lot of data in there from there you would click the click view load script which you then just click here to copy that into your clipboard going to click view and paste it in and then run it. Um, so how do you actually get hold of this this um, connector in the first place? So what you do is you actually hit the links at the top which actually take you to the help page for the connector. So clicking that link takes me into qvsource.com. We scroll down, actually we can click here and click on the demo app you'll see this is where you load you get the demo app from so just click on that and here is the details about how the demo app works get to these files um, so you get the files by clicking on on this point I'll just quickly take you through this you can read this in your own time um, just click on the links and it's got all the information about it I'm just going to show you how you get it working very quickly so download the files from this link, install them, I'm not going to go through that whole process, you just hit save and it will extract it to a, a folder of your choice. So what it actually does, if I go back into click view now, just close that window, go back into click view, what happens is it will load this data up, but it won't it won't have a search terms that you, you've asked for. Okay, all of these hashtags that I've put in won't actually be won't actually come with it. The way in which you customize it is click on the edit script button and you'll see you have a whole host of tabs along here. The only one you you don't actually need to change any of these. I'm just demonstrating this for your 
so you can understand it. Okay, the text file you want to change, where you'll actually set your things up, is called config.txt. You can see I've tried a few different ones and I've come up with this config file. I've called it fq underscore dig. You can create multiple config files for whatever you're looking at. So when you go into Windows Explorer, what will happen is this, this is what will come down on Windows Explorer for you. You'll get uh, your Twitter app and you'll get the QV and the QVD. What you want to do is open up this one, which is your, dem is your config file. Now, it's in a this file where you specify what it is you actually want want to load into Twitter, into your um, click through application. So there's a lot of details on how you can use this and the different search terms that you can use. What you want to do is, let's, I'm going to kind of do this I, you, in kind of the opposite order in which they've done it because I think it will help you understand it better. Right at the bottom of a file is this one. Twitter accounts to track in more detail. So in here, you will load in the Twitter account you want to track, and you'll do it using this terminology. You'll put the grouping name, that's the name that's going to appear, and you'll put the Twitter account to track. So in my case, for the purpose of this example, I've loaded in these Twitter accounts. So on the right is the actual uh, handle that you'll use and on the left is the name that you'll want to um, appear in in ClickView itself. So you can see these are the accounts that I've chosen to follow. What happens after that, although they've put it at the top of their file, is that you will now go into this one, which is Twitter search terms. So if I go up a bit more these are the search terms to find tweets with, and again, as I mentioned, this you can customize it to to really look up a lot of different search search criteria. So what I've done is I wanted to so again same thing grouping and search term. So I want to call Spotify called from Spotify and so on and so forth all the way down here. So anything that appears as ClickView in my app will be from ClickView, which I specified below. But these are the hashtags now. So I want to search for the hashtag big data. So I want to know when any of my Twitter accounts um, that I specified earlier use the hashtag big data. I've also chosen hashtags visual analytics. Same thing, I want to do it via the Twitter accounts that I'm interested in to track, and this will go in and find the followers and people are following, anyone who's talking about visual analytics who is in any way associated with these Twitter accounts. So same thing, basically what I did was I just copied this, I pasted it, and then I changed the data viz I changed the hashtags around to match. So it's just do this once and then just copy and paste, change the hashtags around. But once you've done that and you're happy with that, obviously you'll need to save it. Go back into Click View, go back into the script, edit script options, and hit the reload button. I'm not going to hit the reload button because it's going to take several minutes to reload all of those tweets, but I wanted to show you how you customize it and that's how I've managed to um, basically make my Twitter app in ClickView relevant. If you wanted to choose other data for your industry then go back, go back into here, define at the bottom the Twitter accounts you're interested in, in tracking go up to the top and define, in this case I've used hashtags to uh, extract information. You can use any 
of is you can use from and to you can see who, people who are talking to Twitter accounts that you're you're looking to track you can see mentions you can see tweets sent within a geographical area um, and lots of different things very fast to set it up um, one quick note in case and this has happened to me when you hit run in click view so obviously you can either run it through the edit script or you can run it directly from that button uh, when you hit reload if you get an error saying it can't open up or it can't write the data the reason will be that you will need it should set it up for you but just in case it hasn't you need to create a temporary folder on your C drive under QV source for it to put the text documents in. This should happen by default. For me it didn't happen because I copied this app from another machine to a second machine. The second machine when I hit reload it was looking for it was already expecting to find that folder which wasn't there. If you're doing it first time around it should work just fine for you. So Hope you found that useful. Um, go through, start filling up your things. You'll find it's really quick. The longest you can make this list probably as long as you like. It will, it will just take longer to load all the data in. Once the data is loaded in, you can um, go through and um, find out anything you want to find out. If you want to see the previous video, um, I'll put a link to that on my blog as well. Thanks so much for watching, please subscribe, please share the content and uh, let anyone else uh, who will find it useful know. Okay, thanks so much, see you guys next time.